What is up guys? I wanted to make a quick video on the new game mode. We have Panic Parade, which is a PvE battle mode that is very worth doing. It's pretty much a tower defense game. You have to defend Tinkerton from a lot of wild Pokemon that try to do damage to it. And it's very worth doing for the fact that you get emblems from this. You get a lot of emblems from this by buying the extra energy tank and the extra energy boost, which I still talk about in a second as well. So it's very worth doing. This is a lot of extra emblems, especially if you are free to play as well and you don't want to spend ever money on emblems, this is for sure worth doing and if you still haven't unlocked all the emblems yet. So first, what are the good Pokemon for this game mode? So you pretty much want to just go for something that does a lot of basic attack damage and that can crit. Those are the best Pokemon that you can choose for. You can obviously check out the leaderboard as well. You can see what rankings do right here. And you can uh, check the top rankings and you're going to see a lot of basic attack Pokemon. Outrage, Dragonite, we have Mewtwo X, Razorleaf Decidueye, Zacian and Noshifu. So those are things you can all play. But you don't have to go this tryhard, right? You can easily do this game mode with any Pokemon and have lots of fun doing it. My personal favorite is probably going to be Flay Snorlax. Uh, Ice Even Glacier is also amazing. And so what you have to do is you have to do the mode a few times. Then you buy up these boosts right here. So we have the critical based one, which is the most important one. Crit hate and crit damage increase, which almost makes you crit pretty much the entire time. And then we also have a current reduction one, which is quite nice for certain Pokemon like Ice Even Glacier kind of needs this one. We have a bit of recovery so that we just don't go down while auto attacking gives you a bit of lifesteal. And then attack speed as well. Attack speed combined with the crit. And this pretty much makes you invincible and makes any basic attack build Pokemon insanely strong. There's a lot of things you can go. Dragapult, Draladon, just uh, Cinderace, just something that is based on basic attacking that can do lots of crits. There's also some fun builds like Pursuit Up Soul, which you know, you, if you <laughs> if you permanently crit and have increased crit damage as well, it's quite hilarious. So you don't have to go full tryhard, you can for sure enjoy this game mode as well, and then just farm up these energy tanks right here. So very important, I'm going to show again what they do as well. If you go towards your energy reward thingy, you can activate those right here. If you go to extra energy tank, if you have owned them, you can start using them. And uh, they give you emblems. That's pretty much it. And also these one right here also give you emblems. A lot of people don't know how this works. Me, didn't. I didn't know how this works either. But this pretty much just gives you more emblems. So if you farm both of those, the energy boost tank and the normal energy extra energy tank, you will get a lot of more emblems pretty much for free. I mean, you spend, have to spend your time in the game mode. But I think the game mode is still quite fun. So yeah, now I have some Flay Snorlax coming up. I hope you guys enjoy some of the Panic Parade and don't forget to like and subscribe. Ooh, the crits. The crits are happening! Oh, there's the crits! This I was made for this. This is my mode. It's the crit heroes mode, actually. Oh, we got jump. Please, I'm healing. Oh my god. I told you I need to drink from, guys. Can I block wild Pokemon? Can I block Hooper? Can I block it towards Sinkaton? Oh my god. Where did I fail? Was that. Wait, what was that damage though? Did it do damage? Oh, something else. Oh, look at those crits. Oh, it's a dream come true. Oh, it's a 100%. Okay, okay. World record course, guys. World record course. Smack, smack, smack. Oh, I love it. Can I one shot the Abras? Body slam. Smack, smack. At least 2500s. Yeah. Alright, who's next? This boy. 
have a Cinder Ace to spawn. I can't spawn when I'm flailing or what? Interesting. <laughs> I love those crit numbers. Yo, bro, calm down. At least Slowbro doesn't have Unite move in this mode. Oh, Stabilize. Mit him. Yes. Who's next? Zapdos. Burst it. Burst it before it can even uh, do the circuit thing. Oh man, it's getting a shimper. Okay, guys, goodbye, rip. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. Hold on the A button. Wave 10 survived, alright. What's next? Oh. Chill, bro. I need some healing. The cat is very angry. Oh, the cat is so angry. Toad, you need a drink, Crown. At least Toad's... I'm tanking it. <laughs> That's a Toad you need drink, Crown. Oh, I'm away. Speeding to mid. Bam, 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 bam. Honestly, attack speed flayed Snorlax is my favorite thing in the entire game. You catch the bees. You, you go you go there. No, you, you go defend. Go defend to get on. These are mines. My damage. Okay. Hilarious and like it smashed onto the enemies. <laughs> ah, I'm failing. No. Take it. Another Snorlax. <laughs> okay, okay. End boss. Mirror match. Okay, guys, good luck. Please don't kill me. Thank you. If you died, that's too bad. Oh my god! What was that? It was a circus. 
Yeah, there we go. Flalex. Flalex for the win. Let's get it. Who cares about Dragon Knight or Mewtwo when you can play Flalex? That's what we'd like to see. They had a million. No, I didn't do a million. No.